Hey everyone, let me show you how to make ketupat palas for Hari Raya. Let's go! First stop, let's soak 500 grams of glutinous rice in some water and leave it overnight. If you're pressed for time or you forgot to soak your rice last night, 3 to 4 hours should be alright, although you may have to increase the cooking time later. Once it's soaked, rinse and place the rice into a large pot. Pour in 200 ml of coconut cream and 250 ml of water. Yes, I forgot to film that part. Oops. Give everything a good stir and let's season with half a tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of sugar. You can adjust this according to your preference. Ketupat is usually eaten with rendang or serunding, so we don't want it to be too salty. Once everything has been stirred in well, let's add one knotted pandan leaf. Now we can turn on the heat and cook the rice until it's absorbed all of the liquid and has thickened. At this stage, your rice should be about halfway cooked and al dente. Try a little bit to check the doneness. You want it to be soft on the outside and plump, but not cooked all the way through. If your rice is still hard, add half a cup or 125 ml of water and cook until the liquid is absorbed. Set the pot aside and let it rest until completely cool to the touch. We're making ketupat palas, so we definitely need some down palas, the leaf of a ruffled fan palm. We want the young shoots of the plant. They're still closed like this and the leaves haven't fanned out yet. So we're just going to grab one and open it up like this. Now fold about 3 to 4 inches of the top down. Pinch and hold the top left corner of the leaf and fold the right side down to create a triangle with the pocket. This is where we're going to put the rice in. Grab about 2 or 3 handfuls of the rice and stuff it into the pocket. Compress it with your thumbs and pack it in tight. We don't want any loose air in there or the ketupat won't be nice and plump later. To fold it, we're going to cradle the ketupat with our right hand. And with our left, fold the tail of the leaf over the bottom of the triangle and wrap it around the back and all the way to the front again. Here, we're going to bring the leaf upwards and wrap over that side. To secure it, we're going to tuck the skinny end of the leaf under one of the folds and pull it tight. It looks and sounds complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. Feel free to re-watch this part as many times as you need until you get it. To prevent the rice from coming out from the top when we boil it, we need to tie the top into a knot like this. The end part is a bit hard, so we really need to force it to move where we want it to go. Finish off the rest of the rice. Let's fast forward this part. Then let's gather up all the ketupat into a bunch like this. And using a leftover leaf, we're going to tie them together really tight. This will hold them all together when we cook and it makes it easier to take them in and out of the pot. Place the pot on the stove and fill it with water and turn on the heat. Once it starts to boil, we can cook the ketupat. Lower them gently into the pot and let them simmer for one to one and a half hours. If you've learned something interesting in this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. When the ketupat is cooking, the daun palas will release a nice fragrance and flavors everything with a sweet aroma. It's hard to explain the kind of flavor it imparts, but without the daun palas, the ketupat just doesn't taste the same. Every 20 to 30 minutes, or so, come back to check on the pot to make sure there's still enough water. Top it up with more water once it gets lower than the ketupat. When it's cooked, the ketupat will turn brown and the water will also be a reddish brown colour. Take them out and place in the strainer to cool. See what I mean about it being easier to handle when they're all tied together? Once they're cooled, we can remove the knot and separate them. Cut the excess leaf with a pair of scissors and let's arrange them on a plate. To remove the leaf, just pull one side of the fold and unravel to reveal that soft and shiny creamy ketupat. Serve your ketupat with vegan rendang. Watch this video next to find out how to make it and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.